The Company of Biologists is keen to enhance the open access options available to authors as they publish in our journals. And it's important to us that this benefit is available to a broad range of authors. So I'm delighted to be talking to Romy Beard, the Licensing Programme Manager for Eiffel, about our new read and publish agreement, which is available to authors in developing and transition economy countries. The three journals covered by these read and publish agreements are Development, Journal of Cell Science and Journal of Experimental Biology. Romy, first, can you tell us briefly about Eiffel and what you're aiming to do? Sure. So Eiffel is a not-for-profit organisation and we work with libraries and consortia in developing and transition economy countries in Asia, um, Europe and Africa. And I managed a licensing programme. Traditionally, we've been negotiating access to paywalled content. Over the last few years, we've also included open access publishing terms with publishers for authors to publish in their journals. Um, a lot of these agreements include waivers and discounts of APCs, but um, we also have now a few publish and read agreements in place. Excellent. So to introduce read and publish agreements, they provide institutes with a read component, allowing access to all of our content. And they also provide a published component that allows corresponding authors to publish their articles open access in our journals without having to pay an open access fee. So now that Eiffel has a read and publish agreement in place with the company of biologists, how do libraries in the eligible countries go about taking up the offer to get the benefit of the read component? So for the read component, libraries need to sign a license acceptance form where they provide some information about their, their library, their institution, including um, external IP addresses, and we pass that then back to you as a company of biologists so you can activate the access. And um, how do the corresponding authors benefit from the publishing component? So they don't actually need to do anything. What we negotiated with you is automatic recognition. So all they need to do is submit their articles to your journals and you'll automatically recognize them and not charge them any article processing charges. Um, the other advantage is there's no waiver, nothing that they actively need to claim. And obviously it's free publishing. So there's no article processing charge to pay. Yeah, and we can also see the author benefit of open access publishing in that open access articles are read roughly twice as often as non-open access articles, so that an author's work is seen by a wider group. And I suppose that leads us on to ask about the reader benefits of these arrangements. Yes, exactly. I mean, it's not just the authors that benefit from this, but also the readers who can then read that, uh, that research that's being published openly. And I mean, in an ideal world, we would like all the content to be made openly available. And although we negotiate free access, there's still a lot of hurdles to get to that access, especially in developing and transition economy countries. And we saw that quite a lot last year and even still now because of the, the COVID pandemic and a lot of the libraries and universities had to close and in the countries where we work, a lot of them don't have any remote access. So um, their users couldn't access their resources because it was only through IP recognition. If it was open access, everyone could access it openly from home. So the company of biologists has signed read and publish agreements in many countries, um, but we feel this particular agreement with Eiffel is quite significant in making open science more equitable. As a not-for-profit publisher with the mission to you know, serve the community and support biologists, you know, this is really important to us. So we're delighted to be supporting Eiffel and their library communities. Thank you very much, Romy. Thank you.